Hello, good afternoon. I'm Luther FM, bringing you another episode of the So Show New Phone Only Save. Uh, where you left us off last, we finished the season. Not only did we manage to keep our automatic promotion place, but we actually um, won the League Two title as well at the non, and we managed to win that in the last game of the season. So um, yeah, really good achievement. Wasn't expecting it. I was just happy to get into the playoffs this year. If we didn't get promoted, fair enough. At least it was progress. And then we got to a point where I was going to be really happy if we just got second place. Um, I wasn't expecting us to win the title, even during the yesterday's episode. I, was, I wasn't expecting it. Um, and we had some twists and turns, but we managed to do it. And we won the League 2 title. So... Where we start this episode is I fast forwarded through pre season. Um, there wasn't really any major transfers that I can think of that was out. Oh, there was one. Um, no will about has gone, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But other than that, there was nobody else that's left, so we've still got the same team. My worry is is this team good enough to stay in League 1? I really hope so. I don't want to finally go up and then get relegated the this season coming up. I, I want to try and make sure that we at least stay in the division and then slowly build a mid-table team and then a top six team and then a top three team and then title challengers so we just got to take it one step at a time but i'm really proud of the boys so far it's a great achievement and hopefully we can do well in this episode and start the league and league on the season with a bang well, i'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode Right, we're back. Um, just for people who might not have noticed, I've changed my camera. So the integrated camera on my very expensive gaming laptop was not very good, even though it's supposed to be HD. Um, I was noticing the last couple of intros that I've been doing that it's quite, it's a little bit staticky or a little bit distorted, and it's took me ages to realise. So I've gone back to using my USB HD uh, HD webcam and it just looks a lot better i'm hoping it comes across a lot better for you lot as well um let me know in the comment section one way or another but yeah so anyway we're here um we're playing a our first game of the league on season versus nice and then we've got leon we've got Rennes, and we've got monaco so there's no then there's no easy games in this division um but we'll see how we get on kofi is starting We've got Kofi on the right, Laz up front. Um, oh yeah, let me talk quickly talk about the Labat leaving. So he wanted to leave, he wanted to go to a bigger club. So I didn't stand in his way. Um, we got rid of a few players here as well that just weren't. Uh, these two were taken away from us without us wanting them to because they didn't want to sign a new contract. Um, Mustafa just wasn't good enough, so we got rid of him. Um, sent a couple of players on loan and then like I said no Labat um, 7 million leading to 10 million in clauses um, I'm trying to th trying to think how we can right we'll have a look at clauses probably the easiest way to do it so we've got um, we've got 300k per a game for the next 10 games so that could lead us to getting 3 million if he starts doing well I'm going to add him to the shortlist before I forget and then we get 30% profit made on the next transfer. So uh, I'm going to leave that for maybe a year or two. Hopefully he'll do well at Leeds and get a big transfer. And then we're owed another three installments of 1.5 million each for the next three years. Um, I can't remember what the initial fee was. I think it was like 5 million and then all these clauses. It was the best deal I was going to get for him because nobody else was interested. So um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully he'll go on and have a good career and we'll just have to see anyway onwards and upwards let's focus on the present and like i said we're playing nice in our first game of the season hopefully it will be a good one nice are not an easy team to play against first highlight goes to us coming from defense so that could be one good thing or a bad thing if we lose the ball i'll be very worried I feel like this is going to be a highlight where we lose the ball any second now. I stand corrected. What a ball. Oh, look at that. Beautiful passing. Bastion passes it. Oh, fortunately, nobody there to finish it off. Now, Nice are on the counter attack. They've got, they got a few.
few against. Luckily, we got three back. That could have been quite concerning. They've got a corner. Headed out. Oh, that was a good goal. I feel like this is going to be a very difficult season. We'll be very lucky to stay in this league, I think. I'm trying to stay positive, but I just think we lack the quality at the moment. We haven't got amazing players. We've got good players, but I don't think they're good enough. Like, they're not all good enough for league up. And because this is a youth only save, it does make it a little bit more difficult because you can't just sign anybody to fix it. I think Cove might be offside there, but we'll see. So I can predict now when, when the goal is going to be uh, VA hard or not. Review. Disallowed. Yeah, I thought he was. Kofi didn't stay on the side. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but positive to see. We've only had one shot on target this first half. But then again, Nice have only had one so far and they scored. Izanga had to come on for um, Didot because Didot wasn't injured. Oh, Angeli. I feel like Angeli is definitely going to step up in this division. He's really going to do well. I think he'll get signed by a big club at, by the end of this season, if not before. I can hear a fly buzzing around, it's driving me mad. Can't concentrate on doing this. Right, Nice with the free kick, they take it short. Luckily for us, doesn't need to anything. Who's that to just come off? Uh, oh, that Angeli had to come off, unfortunately. One of our best players. We now have a highlight. Bastian gives it to Bobby, 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 Bobby Adu. Bastian. Fortunately loses the ball. Back to the goalkeeper. We get the ball back though through Paisley. Gives it to Thierry. What a ball. Isanga. Yes, Squan. Mugin. First ever senior goal. Fair play. Right, Pinto is literally dying here. There we go. Put Patricio in there. Uh, nice to see Patricio back. I think he was injured or I think he was on loan. I can't remember, but nice to have him back. Right, corner to Nice. Uh, as soon as we score, typically they get one. Uh, well, that was very short-lived. Oh, well, we dust ourselves off. We go again. Um, let's see what I can do. Right, LeBron is playing. Oh, we can't take more players off, typical. The only thing I've got left in the locker is shouting. So let's try firing up the players. Free kick to Nice though. Beautiful finish. That was a great free kick. Is it allowed? I didn't know you could be offside during free kicks. I didn't think that was allowed. Similar to you can't be offside during a throw in, but I could be wrong. Anyway, goal awarded. Game over. A decentish showing by us against the big boys. I hope it's not like this every game. Or else I'm going to get very sad and very frustrated. Goalkeeper taking his sweet time and I don't blame him. Can we get the ball off him? Good tackle by Thierry. Bastian gets the ball. Paisley gives it to Bastian. Loses it. Oh, Mugen intercepts it. We've lost it. Uh, I was really hoping that was going to lead to a goal for us. Nice just walking past us with ease here. Good save, pop out. Who's been the best player? Kofi? I oh, don't know. No, Mo no. Izanga has played really well. Uh, Mugen as well. The rest of the lads, not so much. Sad to see Vaz not doing well, Lebrun not doing well. Who else? Uh, Abdu. Players come through the youth ranks here. We want them to be the standout players, really. To be honest, we want the local lads. Oh, nearly got a consolation goal there. Who's 
good tackle. Go on. Oh, that was a terrible pass. You had plenty of time there, Bobby. Tried to make a difference there, but didn't. Oh, here we go. 5-1. Oh, VAR maybe. Not that I'm bothered now, because we've not got any chance of winning. He's probably going to allow it. Yep, there we go. VAR, clearing suck a lemon for all I care. Some very poor performances in this game. Some good performances, but few and far between. Right then, when's the next game? In three days' time, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back for the game against Lyon. Um, Lyon are traditionally a better team than Nice, so I don't fancy our chances, but you never know. We have moments in the Nice game where we where we perform well, so it just may take us a few games to get into our stride this season. Um, just while I'm at it, I'm going to start a new FM24 series starting Thursday as Coventry City in the and I'm going to use a retro database, so it's the 2007-2008 database. Uh, reason for it is on FM08, which was many many moons ago. I had one of my favourite saves ever. I mean, actually, it was my favourite save ever on Football Manager um, with Coventry City because basically it was literally every year I was struggling to stay in the championship. I just about stayed in every season by the skin of my teeth, similar to how they stayed in the Premiership for quite a few seasons in the 90s before they finally went down. It was literally like that dead. It was literally like the last game of the season we managed to stay up. And I absolutely loved it. And I've never really been able to replicate that that joy of playing that save since. So I'm hoping to do that. And I'm hoping that you can enjoy the, the journey with me. Good goal. Go on, Didot. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to intervene. Let's see what happens here. VAR, checking. Gold slow, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully you lot can enjoy the save with me. Um, I'm sorry for anybody that was watching the Georgia the Dynamo Tilabusi and Georgia national team save. It was just it wasn't receiving the um it wasn't getting as many views as it first was. Um and I, I left it for a few weeks just to see if it would change, see if it was a blip, but it wasn't. It just wasn't enough people to make it worth my time. At the end of the day I have to focus on what people are enjoying. If, if they're not enjoying it then I'm probably not going to end up enjoying it. Um and to be honest, I wasn't really, other than when Dynamo was in the European games, um, there we go, good little goal there, that, that better be allowed. Good header by Bastian. Um, other than when Dynamo Televisi were playing in the European games or when Georgia were playing in like World Cup qualifying or the Euros, um, I wasn't really enjoying it. I weren't, I weren't enjoying Dynamo Televisi dominating the Georgian League, it just wasn't really for me. So um, that's why I also was quite happy to put an end to it. Um, I'm hoping with FN, when FN, FN25 comes along, I'm trying to think of two long-term saves that will that will keep me going for like six months of the cycle in between each FM. And then I can do that for six months, get my teeth into it. Um, one of the ideas I've got is the ultimate um, football manager challenge which is on the side games forums uh sorry it's ultimate manager challenge i apologize um which is on the side games forums um and you basically start with no coaching badges sunday league rep and you've got to win every single competition out there internationally domestically um not every single one but you've got to win at least 10 i think it's 10 leagues or is it eight leagues i can't remember how many um but you go win 10 domestic cups as well Different in different countries, you've got to win the top five, you, the top five leagues, uh, championships. So England, you have in the Premiership, League One, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A. That's what you've got to do. Uh, obviously, you go win the international competition, the World Cup, the Euros, the Copa America, the African Cup of Nations, the Gold Cup. Um, it's it's a challenge that would take me a long time to complete, especially as I'm doing it only doing it twice a week on here um it'd be probably different if it was an offline save because i'm i always play fm every day anyway for about six or seven hours every day so it's a lot easier to complete a challenge like that but when
when I'm doing it online for you lot, it's going to take me a long time. So I'm hoping that'll be one of them. And then I'm just trying to figure out what the other one's going to be. Um, so if you've got any ideas, a good long-term save for me to get, get my teeth into, let me know. By the way, um, fair play to Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, I know it's only Plymouth and they're managed by Wayne Rooney, who should not be managing any football team. But um, fair play to Sheffield Wednesday over the, uh, over the weekend, um, the other day, when they beat Plymouth convincingly, 4-0. I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Sheffield Wednesdays because they're on the side games forums. They're one of the biggest threads in the football section is basically um, is the Sheffield Wednesday thread. And it's entertained me for many, for many years with how like just 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 honestly just read the threads every year it's just hilarious to think, um but i i do have a soft spot for them and there's a couple of good lads on the forum that are sheffield wednesday fans so i actually now want to root for sheffield wednesday i want them to do well and uh i really like their new home shirt as well i want to try and get that at some point so um yeah hopefully they'll do well because they're a they were a fallen giant. They were in the first couple of seasons of the Premiership. Um, they managed one season. They managed to get through to the FA Cup final and League Cup final in the same season, losing to Arsenal in both finals, which you would never probably see that happening again. Um, so yeah, like I said, fair play to Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday is one of the teams I'm thinking about managing on FM twenty five as a long term save. Um, for six months but i don't know whether that would get boring very quickly because I, I worry that i'll end up just doing really well very quickly and it'll get boring i might make it harder for myself by doing it as a youth only save but we'll see anyway right we're now playing wrens we had a good little win against leon which was an which was unexpected but i'm not complaining I think in this I think in this team our two best players is Angeli and Bastian by the looks of it. Um they really performed well last season. Kofi is still there, he's still our main man up front at times, but I think he's fading slowly. I I, I feel like he's not he's not gonna be peaking now, but he's gonna start deteriorating a little bit. I could be wrong. Um and I also worry that, that Vaz isn't consistent enough. He has his moments where he's really good. But they're few and far between at times. So I worry that we're going to be lacking a... Oh, that was a good shot. I worry we're lacking a big-time striker. I'm hoping to get one through the youth intake at some point. He can take over from Kofi. Finished my second season in, in the Youth Academy Challenge save with um, Aiken FC. A A C H E N. I'm. I hope I'm getting the name right. Um, in Germany, I managed to get slightly higher than. Oh, nearly. I managed to get slightly higher than last season. I. I uh, last season I was tenth. This season I was seventh. If I'd have won the last two games, I probably would have got in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, hopefully next season we'll do well. But worryingly, um, we don't have enough players in the squad, so I've got a few grade out players playing at times as well. So well, that's a bit that's that's at the moment we're only just staying out of the relegation zone and i think the expectations is to get like a mid-table top half finish so i'm worried i'm going to get sacked i don't want to have to do that challenge again oh go on kofi oh don't deny kofi his first goal of the season come on VAR really kills the yeah get in it really does kill the joy out of football don't it VAR it's the worst thing that they ever did was bring VAR in I think there might be others that disagree because um, we want it to be fair and we, we, we used to hate it when goals were allowed when they shouldn't have been oh for that for an inception go on Isanga what was the point in that you might as well just not bothered but yeah I, don't, I can't stand VAR on here and in real life it does it literally just the rep the play, whenever a player scores and they now have to wait for VAR before they can actually celebrate. Right, I was going to take eyes anger off, but actually, yeah, I will take them off. There we go. Oh, Pinto gets fouled, but he carries on, gets the ball back. Good. Oh, I thought I was going to go straight to Kofi there. 
Good save by their goalkeeper. Oh yeah, at some point this week, please, please, please watch this um, fake football shirt video I'm going to do. It's going to literally be, uh, it's, honestly, these, these shirts I got from DHK, they're the, some of the worst football shirts I've probably ever seen. And I might be exaggerating, but they just look so bad. Um, I'm not happy. I spent like, I bought four shirts for 30 odd quid. Um, and it's just a ball ache to send them back because it's all the way in China. It took two months for the shirts to get to me if, if, if it's going to take another two months to get like them returned um to, for me to get my refund i don't know whether i can be bothered it's just too much hassle i'd rather just do a video basically slagging off the the, the, the person that's solving the shirts i've already told them that i'm going to be doing a video of them on get in go on kofi um do a video on my youtube channel about them not that they should be worried. Yes, goal awarded. Uh, not that they should be worried because I, I, it's not like on Mr. Beast or even like, uh, you know, Zealand. It's, it's not like my reach, the, the, my audience is that big. It's going to make a much difference. But if I can save people wasting their money, um, then I'm all for it. Anyway, potentially 2-1 here. Let's see what VAR says. That was lucky. All right. Bobby needs to come off. I um by the way, I went I went dumpster diving a couple of days ago for the first time ever. For people who don't know what dumpster diving is, it's literally just going through the bins in like behind all the shops and everything. I've been fascinated by it for years. Um always wanted to try it at some point, even though it is disgusting. Um but I went and we did not find anything. Um, I'm in this Facebook group and I get really annoyed because you get all these people finding all this great stuff. But I live in I live in uh, in the West Midlands and they either seem to lock all their bins or um, I, you just don't find anything. All we found was rubbish um, and gone off. There was some gone off ham and it was disgusting. The bin, this bin nearly made me gag. It was just it was, smelled so bad. So I was really good, but not that I probably would have kept anything that I found, um, because I'm not that I'm not that poor. So I just I, I'm really into um, not wasting food stuff like that. So I probably would have set, taken it to a food bank or something like this guy I watch on YouTube does. He helps a lot of food banks and other charities as well. Um, he there was one video where he found loads of trainers in a dumpster outside sports direct and there was a lot of he found quite a few pairs of trainers but he also found a lot of singular trainers so what he did was the tr the singular trainers he donated to an amputee charity because obviously people who have who've only got one leg they're paying for two trainers when they only need one so it will help a lot of people so and he does things like that and they, he found flowers he found all these flowers the once and he put them on people's graves to brighten up their graves a bit so he's a really good bloke, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on about anything other than the actual game. I'm going to come back in a second and we'll play Monaco. Right, we're back. Um, sorry for rambling on about everything. I just just usually there, doesn't, there isn't really much that's going on in my life. So um, it, I was just literally just letting you know what's happening. But anyway, I'm playing Monaco now. Monaco, always a strong team. In fact, let's have a look what their lineup is yeah so they've got a fairly good team Sanchez in goal Henrique um, Golvin Kang in Lee Sessignon I don't know is that who I'm thinking of oh no it's, it's a different Nago um, Ariola. you know not like not like the Monaco team the great Monaco teams over the years they aren't they are lacking star players there but you know, still a good team nonetheless. Thinking of doing a, an offline save as Monaco at some point and just only bringing former Monaco players like Bernardo Silva eventually and uh, Jame Rodriguez, Mbappe if I can one day. Um, I think it might make a fun save, I don't know. I don't think it's a, like a, 
a, an interesting save to be doing it on online on YouTube, but you never know, he's offside. He's clearly offside. There's no way that goal's going to be allowed. I mean, I'll be amazed. I'm 99% sure this is getting disallowed. He was miles offside. Yeah. I'd have been really disappointed in the ref, actually, if he did allow that goal, because I'd be quite concerned that he'll do the same when it comes to letting Monaco score. Fairly boring first half. Just that one highlight so far. Uh, we've only had one shot. They've been the better team so far. Right, I think Didot needs to come on. Uh, who shall I put on for you? Actually, I haven't really got many options, so I'll leave him for now. <coughs> oh, nearly had a chance there. Up to Sanchez. Monaco's had some good players over the years, haven't they? They've had David, David, uh, David Trezeguet. Um, did they have Henri as well? They had Henri, Martial, obviously. You know, Martial didn't go on to have the great career that we all thought he would at Man United, but he was still a decent-ish Still a decent player. Uh, Jame Rodriguez, uh, Falque, uh, uh, Raphael Falqueo. Oh, I'm trying to think now who else they've had. There's so many, I just can't think at the top of my head. They're a bit of a fallen giant Monaco as well. I think, remember, remember that season when they won the title around the, First season, Mbappe was there. They were unstoppable. First season or second season? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they had Mbappe, who was literally the next big thing there. Um, yeah, they, were, they had an incredible team. Right, who else? Take you off. Uh, I think we'll leave that. Thing. Oh, we've got to take off Kofi, unfortunately, because he's not playing well either. Hopefully Vaz can step up now. Show me he's still got a bit of a bit of uh, skill on there. Oh, he needs to bloody make a difference now. Oh, notice you know, notice no VAR call for there. But yeah, I've got to do the Youth Academy challenge first before I do any other saves. Get that done with HM FC. Hopefully I'll get promoted to uh, Bundesliga 2 next year. Uh, so if I'm getting better and better, then in theory we will end up uh, getting promoted at some point. I think 1-0 to Monaco isn't too bad of a result. We're not going to win every game. We're doing well, to be honest. Um, we've six points on the table so far. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call this episode to an end. Um, but thank you as always. I'm just going to expand me so you can see me a bit better. There we go. You can see my lovely lovely mask face. Um, thank you as always for watching. I'll be back next week with another Socio episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow with TW9 stuff. And then Thursday, like I said, starting a new save with commentary in the retro 2007-2008 database. So please give that a watch. I would really appreciate it, the support. So anyway, all the best. Enjoy the rest of your day.